What's going on everyone? ODC here and I'm back with another action figure review. Today's review we're going to take a look at the Walgreens exclusive Star Wars The Black Series General Veers action figure. Um, it comes in this nice window box display as usual. It's got the Walgreens exclusive little sticker logo right here. Um, we've got the window box display with his, um, our, all of his accessories, his helmet, his blaster, his armor, he comes with another hat and etc. the body and everything, but looks pretty cool. I'm kind of glad that this is an exclusive and not in a regular wave. This way it doesn't take up the bulk of the rest of the wave. As far as um, looks go in packaging, looks pretty cool. It's got a nice picture of General Veers down here. And uh, I'll just bring that in so you can see the picture of him. And then on the side, it just has pretty much a barcode-esque or um, doesn't have a number or anything like that insignia just pretty much says general veers and then it gives you the I guess serial number right there on the back it gives you a short little read up so if you want to pause and read that you can go ahead uh, it gives you a brief little synopsis of general veers backstory in multiple different languages Kind of wish that they would just uh, go uh, full G.I. Joe route and just throw a file card in with General Veers and just save us some, some of the space here. Maybe put some different card artwork on the back. Uh, something different to uh, deviate from what we're just so used to with this Black Series line. I also feel like um, the, the, the packaging on here could uh, use a, a little bit of a change, seeing as this is what going on since, uh, what, The Force Awakens? So it would be nice to if they switched uh, the packaging up. That's just a little minor note. But not going to waste any more time. We'll get this guy out of package and we'll be right back. Okay, and we're back with Gen General Veers out of packaging. And i got to say he looks pretty good for just a, you know, just kind of a, a basic kind of officer looking. Uh, it's pretty much uh, the majority of the, uh, there is some new tooling here with the, uh, the torso piece, the upper torso piece. But the rest looks to be some reused uh, of multiple different pieces from, uh, I want to say a couple different figures, but uh, maybe a little bit of Tarkin here and there. But uh, as far as an officer goes, as far as this being ex an exclusive figure, I think it fits the bill for being an exclusive. This is pretty much just his basic look right here um, in his officer or um, I guess officer uniform. Um but it looks pretty good. I think the um, the grays on him look really nice. Almost like a greenish gray. But anyway, I digress. You can remove his hat. And I think they got the face sculpt down pretty well uh, as far as the actor. We've, we've seen this actor in, uh, in Indiana Jones before. We've seen him, obviously, in Star Wars. Yeah, this was uh, pretty much just kind of like a one-shot character. I don't believe he was featured really in anything else besides... Uh, I want to say um, uh, Empire Strikes Back. Maybe I'm forgetting, but I'm pretty sure I didn't see him in Return of the Jedi for anything. Maybe I'm wrong. Let me know in the comments if I am, but uh, I'm pretty sure that he wasn't. Um, but a uh, pretty cool scene with him in the uh, the Adat -Ad Walker. And uh, we're not going to waste any more time. We're going to get him all geared up here. So simply all you really want to do here is you want to take his armor piece... And I'll just show off the armor piece really quick. I really like the uh, the paint detail and the sculpt going throughout. We've got his his uh, ranking right here. We've got some little I don't know what you want to call it. Some little bit of uh, uh, detail for the rest of his armor. Maybe this is I don't know to regulate something. I'm not really sure, but uh, <laughs> uh, looks pretty cool nonetheless. Um, the I like this other armor piece underneath. It's kind of like the belt buckle armor piece. The uh, the back also has some sort of regulating uh, doodads or operating systems for something. I'm not really sure. I, I don't think I have to look it up in my uh, Star Wars encyclopedia, but I, I'm sure there's some sort of explanation for what these little lights and gizmos are. But uh, Looks pretty cool. It does come attached with a holster. And uh, here is the blaster that is included with him. It is a different blaster, very World War II slash sci-fi-esque looking blaster. And uh, you simply want to just pull this tab up and then 
pop this right in like that, and then you want to have that just shut with the tab. If I can get that tab to shut, there we go. Perfect. And it doesn't fall out, it doesn't move or anything like that, so there's no issues there with that. Um, so let's get his armor on first. So what you want to do is you just want to simply take the figure, pop this over his head. You want to take the strap that's around the waist, that's just a pliable, soft plastic, and just kind of wrap it around. And there is a peg with a porthole right here. And you simply just want to plug that in. Now mine does tech tend to want to unpeg or depeg itself due to the uh, tightness of this going around his waist. But, uh, you know, I just kind of leave it loose anyway. It doesn't really move anywhere, so you don't have any issues with that. It's not really moving anyway. It's not jiggly. It's not wobbly or anything like that. It doesn't look off uh, unless you turn him to the side and you bring it up close and you really start looking, oh, that's not attached. But overall, I think it's fine for, for what it is. Uh, it's nice that we get this kind of two-in-one figure. I want to move on to the helmet next and the helmet is very nicely done i really like the paint detail and sculpt you cannot bring these binoculars down so i wouldn't even attempt to try it's part of this sculpted detail of the helmet and as you can see we've got some uh some kind of i think these are rankings also let me know in the comments below if they're not uh, I, i'm not 100 sure on that but i've seen other helmeted uh, officers and soldiers with um, less rankings than this before if it is a ranking at all so I, I don't want to you know get beat up in the comments or oh you don't know what you're talking about that's not a ranking you know but uh, so I'll just leave it out in the open that I, I'm not 100% on that so don't uh, take that with a grain of salt I like the gray uh, or silver paint detail for that I like the nice little tan strap looks good I've got a black strap that is just Mold, uh, molded into the helmet and we have a little bit of a microphone right here if you guys can see that if it will focus here let's get that to focus there we are much better We've got a little bit of a black microphone going right here so he can talk to lord veda while he's attacking the planet of hoth um, now with the helmet when you put on the helmet you want to make sure that this strap goes underneath the chin so and it'll just kind of pop into place so you don't have to worry about that let's try and focus again there we are um it'll you'll kind of feel like or hear a little bit of a snap or a pop uh with that and it's actually a good thing because it actually pops right into place as you can see the microphone on the head let me bend his knees here a little bit so we can get all up and up close and personal here the um the helmet and uh the microphone you want the microphone to be sitting right where the mouth is which is looking pretty good it's a really nice tight fitment for a helmet usually helmets on action figures that aren't molded to the head or all one mold in general usually don't sit well or they look a little bit too big but i think this is perfect i think this looks really good it, hasbro did a really good job with with a, a figure that could have been maybe a, kind of a hassle or maybe didn't work out as well uh, a lot of people like to beat up the removable helmet blue line Vader. I still tend to like that Vader, even though the helmet's not, uh, uh, you know, maybe 100% accurate. It still has a gimmick behind it. So you can remove the helmet and see the unmasked head underneath. Um, I don't even have an issue with that figure, really. But, um, yeah. So the figure itself, I think the boots came out really well. Nice and shiny black for the boots. Looks really good. Nice little puffy pants here. Looks pretty cool. Very um, World War II themed on, uh, ensemble he's got here. Uh, and then the armor, like the armor just sits so well, even though it's loose on the body. I think it's just a really good idea to kind of um, do a two in one look for this character. So if you want him in his regular uniform look, let's try and focus again. There we go. You can simply just pop this hat on. And then if you want him in this uniform look, uh, for maybe out in the battlefield, you can have that. So, I mean, you have your options here. Uh, I think I prefer him with his armor on, with his AT-AT -A -A or AT-AT um, commander look, even though he is a general. 
um, I guess his tactical look I should is the term I should use but it looks really good I don't have any issues with um, any of the um, detail or anything like that uh, the paint apps look really good on him I think the face sculpt looks fantastic looks like the actor I'm pretty pleased with it uh, pleasantly surprised with this I, I wasn't really looking forward this to this figure too much but overall the o the, the overall aesthetics and, and, and the whole package just works so well. Uh, as far as his articulation does go, his head can swivel full 360 rotation. I just snapped his neck and now he's dead. And his arms go up, down, full 360 rotation. Snapped his arm and now his arm's broken. Uh, <laughs> bend at the elbow, which is about eh, a little bit less than 90 degrees. A swivel at the elbow as well. A swivel at the wrist. He does have a wrist hinge, which goes back and forth. And it's the, it's, uh, it is the same on both sides, so they go back and forth, not up and down. Um, he does have a kind of a diaphragm joint, which does swivel here, and it can pivot a little bit. Um, it, can, it, do, it does get a little bit hindered here without, uh, with the armor on. Without it, 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 you get a little bit more range of motion. Uh, but he can swivel full 360 rotation if you need him to. He can do the splits, which is nice due to these little slits on the side of his, I guess you want to say tunic or skirt, uh, whatever you'd like to call it. I know skirt doesn't sound manly, but that's what it looks like to me. Um, legs go forward, legs go back, upper thigh swivel. We've got a double jointed knee, which eh, gets pretty good range of motion. And then we have an ankle hinge, which goes forward and points the toe nicely, points the heel and toe nicely, and we do have that ankle pivot and two peg holes at the bottom of the feet. Now, the major issue that I have with um, his articulation, and it's really the only part that I have, is for some reason this ankle ratchets very stiff, and it doesn't like to sit in, in the sweet spot to get him to stand properly, so you kind of have to bend his knees a little bit. Um, maybe a little bit more hot water, cold water treatment would be useful here. Um... Moving on, so that could be fixed with that. Uh, moving on to him holding his blaster. He holds it I wanna, kind of weird in this hand. Maybe I'm just not feeding it in correctly. There we go. That, that looks a little bit better. Let's see how he looks holding this. So I guess you could kind of have him holding it like this if you wanted to. It is a very odd blaster, but I, I like that it's unique to this character. I don't believe... Any other character prior to him, as far as uh, any of the officers go, or any of the soldiers, the Imperial soldiers go, have used this blaster. So that's pretty cool uh, that we get a little bit of uniqueness. Actually, I, I won't say a little bit, a lot of uniqueness with this character that could have been pretty bland as far as I'm concerned. I know Admiral Piet, uh, which I don't own yet, but I, I do plan on picking up. Uh, he's another exclusive that uh, I think was maybe kind of bleh. He's just pretty much just kind of a another um, officer uniformed figure. But uh, I think that they, they knocked this one out of the park. I think it looks really good. Very pleased with how it turned out. I would definitely give this a two thumbs up, even for kind of a generic character that kind of didn't really have that many scenes in the movie. I really enjoy this figure. <laughs> uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Um, if you like them, if you don't, if you plan on getting them, if you're going to pass, uh, but let me know in the comments. It's always nice to hear back from you guys. Um, he can hold the blaster in his other hand, just in case you are wondering, uh, before I let you guys go. He does not have a trigger finger in the other hand though. It kind of gets, get, he kind of holds it a little bit, uh, wonky, but, uh, nonetheless, I'll end it here. <laughs> like I, I alluded to, um, and, uh, like I said, Hit that like button. If you want to hit the dislike button, that's cool too. But let me know how I can improve my content. Hit the ring my bell. Hit the bell for notifications. You can ring my bell. Ring my bell. Anyway. <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed this as much as I did. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys on the flip side.